What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be talking about the horror film The Unholy. It's a horror mystery film released by Screen Gems April 2nd, 2021. And it was directed by Evan Spilatopoulos. This is his directorial debut, but he's written other films like Snake Eyes, Battle for Terror, uh, Hercules, the 2014 remake, and uh, The Huntsman, Winter's Ward, and Aim a Few. It had a budget of $10 million. So now The Unholy is um, basically about an uh, investigative journalist who first goes to this small town to uh, investigate these weird like cattle um, signs on these cattle and stuff. A completely different story than what he actually finds. And, uh, it ends up being, like, just Metallica fans putting, like, the Metallica symbol on cows, which is hilarious. I love that. And, the uh, the first bit was pretty funny and stuff. But, uh, yeah. But then he slowly starts uncovering, a uh, miracles that are happening in this town. Like, a, a person who, could, uh, was, like, was it blind or could not talk? Uh, and start talking, they start seeing, the person in the wheelchair can start walking, and weird miracles are happening, so he starts covering it, and trying to dig deeper, and trying to figure out why this is happening, and a lot of people think it's because of, uh, like, the Virgin Mary, um, was supposed to reside there, and she's doing this, so the pe uh, the religious folk in the town believe that strongly, but lo and behold, something a little more sinister and darker is happening, and uh, it's up to the investigative journalist to try to figure out what's going on. Um, this is your run-of-the-mill horror film. Um, it, surprisingly, it does not feel like a film that cost $10 million to make. This felt like something you see on this Hallmark channel or the Sci-Fi Network. Um, it's, it was pretty hard to get through. Um, this film has, um, so, like, the setting and stuff was pretty decent. It definitely felt a lot like the, um, uh, like the show Black Mass or Midnight Mass on Mike Flanagan. It has sort of, like, a lot of the same sort of spiritual sense and things in it. And, uh, I don't know if they copied each other and whatnot, but, uh, apparently this one was based on a book, so I'm just gonna say that's a coincidence, but, um, yeah. And then, uh, the sinister demon posing as the Virgin Mary, um, was ridiculous. I was not a fan of this film. It was, it's slow. It's like a slow burn. It has some pretty well developed characters in it for the most part, but um, when it comes to everything else, it falls flat hard. I cannot believe this film actually was made and put into theaters. This is definitely a huge cash grab. They tried to do a lot of jump scares, which none of them worked for me at all. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, so when you're a horror fan and you watch, like me, who like watches them religiously, you want to see, like, I always go for, like, more practical effects, the better. Uh, you want a decent story you can get into, you want it to hook you in, pull you in, and then the scares happen. This one, it tries to do that, but it doesn't. It kind of... Just be like, okay, here you go, here you go, here's the meat and potatoes that you need, and bam, bam, bam. That's all the scary stuff happens. And it's all been done before. Like, eh, they go into church and there's, like, um, mannequins with, like, uh, oh, sheets and stuff all draped over them. And then, and then a jump scare happens. And things like that. Things we've seen thousands of times in movies. And, uh, yeah, it was quite disappointing. And, um, yeah, like, the story would have been a little bit good, but you gotta have, like, the actual sense of, uh, dark presence. Now, certain parts of this, now, the demon, like, evil entity is all CG, all computer-generated graphics. Now, there's, like, one or two shots where it actually looks somewhat decent, where you get, like, a close-up of, like, a noose around its neck and stuff like that, which looked interesting. But for the most part, it looks like one of those phone apps on your phone where you like play a game and then something just jumps on the screen. It looked exactly like that. It was absolutely terrible. I hated this film so much. Uh, yeah, I I don't know 
uh, what these people are thinking. This So a lot of the new films I haven't been liking, and that's not a good sign. <laughs> I'm kind of losing my faith in filmmakers now, but um, Indy's the way to go. Uh, this one, absolute trash. Do not watch it. It is a waste of time. The acting and stuff was actually pretty decent. It seemed like they tried to make something better. But the reactions and stuff definitely weren't genuine to, like, something that would be freaky. They'll be like, oh, like, something like that. <laughs> it was just, like, so odd and just not the way you'd react if a demon, like, appeared in your room or something. And uh, definitely was not scary at all, which a horror film has to be, or at least unnerving. And this one... It's been done before. It has those typical people like, oh, they held a church sort of setting near this tree where people are getting it. And then they start, miracles start happening again. And then the demon shows itself and it's so predictable and dumb. Like there's a, it wears a mask at one point, pulls it off and it just looks like a human face underneath. Nothing scary, nothing too disfigured. It's just dumb. It's not an R rating, and it looked like a PG-13 movie, like, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, so, enough ranting from me. Um, I'm gonna give The Unholy a 1, because it had okay scenes, I guess, with the ghost demon in it, but 99% of it was terrible, awful, waste of time. Do not check it out, but if you like jump scares, you might find this one interesting, I don't know, but... Sadly, another film that went to theaters, that's absolute crap. Terrible. Film industry, get going. Gotta start doing, I don't know what's going on, but yeah. Uh, another disappointment down, probably a whole lot more to go. But uh, for now, yeah, I'm going to give this one a one, because at least the acting was somewhat decent. Cinematography was way too clear. It looked like you're shot in 4k and then the cg made it look like it was made for the sci-fi channel so there's a trailer link down below if you want to check it out you know, if you sound like something you might be interested in but other than that i wouldn't um well also on my instagram that's always linked down below where post clips of films are going to be in the future on my story um with the film title and hashtag subgenre of film in the hashtag so you can follow me there to stay in the loop usually it's better movies than this <laughs> and uh or you can also check me out on Letterboxd, Dare P Reviews. That's where I post my first star rating right after watching the film. Um, yeah, so follow me on one of those Tuesday and like this video, share some more people over it. Comment your opinions of the film down below. Let me know your opinions on it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And also, um, yeah, if you have any films that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below. Try my script as soon as you can. And if I can find them, and I'll review any genre, so don't worry about that. <laughs> And make sure you subscribe, because hopefully we'll find something, at least something better than this, uh, better in the future, and hopefully maybe find some stuff that you never thought of checking out together, so, yeah, but too bad this one was crap, and, uh, I know a lot of people are saying it's crap, so, uh, for once, I agree with the masses, but, uh, I definitely got some old 90s films I'm gonna check out next, so, we'll see how that goes, hopefully they're way better than this, but, so that's it for this one, and I guess um, watch out for the Virgin Mary demon that's always haunting you and stuff, especially the one that's deep in this film <laughs> managed to make, and uh, well, that one you don't have to be scared of, it's pretty weak and stupid, uh, but yeah, we'll watch out for all the other demons out there, and I guess I'll see you all in the next review, so cheers.